वेलकम डियर स्टूडेंट माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर डी के पाटिल असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ केमिस्ट्री चांगुकाना ठाकुर आर्ट्स कॉमर्स एंड साइंस कॉलेज न्यू पनवेल टुडे वील लर्न द इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स फ्रॉम एफ वाई बी सी ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री जनरल केमिस्ट्री पेपर थ्री सेमिस्टर टू यूनिट टू सो हियर टुडे वील लर्न द डिफरेंट मेथड्स ऑफ फॉर्मेशन ऑफ अल्किन्स नव अल्किन्स मीन्स दीज आर द कंपाउंड्स कंटेनिंग कार्बन कार्बन डबल बॉड now there are different uh, methods are available for the formation generation of alkene the first uh, important and well known method for the formation of alkene is the dehydration of alcohols now the student we know what are the alcohols alcohols are the compound containing oh groups in oh groups in their structure so when the dehydration of alcohol takes place dehydration means loss of water so here from the alcohol the loss of oh group and h group takes place in the form of water and then dehydration of alcohol is observed and we get the alkene as our final product so here i have given the example of ethanol ethanol when undergoes dehydration in presence of here the dehydration of alcohol is taking place by the two reagent first one is a concentrated sulfuric acid and second one is the alumina that is the aluminum oxide so uh, here uh, the ethanol when treated with the 95% sulfuric acid okay at the temperature of 453 kelvin we get the ethene here the loss of oh group and hydrogen is taking place uh, from the alcohol now the carbon to which the oh group is attached that is considered as a alpha carbon atom and next carbon is considered as a beta carbon atom so hydrogen is lost from the beta carbon atom and oh group lost from the alpha carbon atom so oh and s yes, loss in the form of water and we get alkene as the product here ethanol on dehydration of alcohol in presence of sulfuric acid gives ethene as the product okay so here the ethanol can also uh, lost the water molecule in presence of aluminum oxide and that also gives you the ethene as the product next example i have given that is what the propanol propanol when treated with the alumina that is aluminum oxide okay it also gives you the propene where the loss of oh group from the alpha carbon atom and hydrogen from the beta carbon atom and it gives what propene as the product next i have given the example that is the 2 propanol so 2 propanol when treated with the 60% sulfuric acid okay at the temperature of 160 to 170 degree celsius it gives you what that is the propene as the product means your alkene also the example of tertiary butanol when treated with the sulfuric acid 20% sulfuric acid it gives what that is the isobutene as the product so dear student all these example i have given these are the examples of what symmetrical alcohol symmetrical alcohols but when the unsymmetrical alcohol at that time definitely there is a question that which hydrogen beta hydrogen should be the remove so when the unsymmetrical alcohols are there during the dehydration of alcohol you have to follow the sed save rule what the sed save rule say there in case of unsymmetrical alcohol the hydrogen is eliminated from that beta carbon atom which contain the less number of hydrogen atom so this point you have to remember carefully hydrogen should be removed from that beta carbon atom which contain the less number of hydrogen atom just see the example of what that is the two butanol i have given the example of two butanol when treated with the concentrated sulfuric acid we get the two products are there one is what two butene as the 80% which is a major product and one butene 20% that is a minor product student here the two beta carbon atoms are present there just i denoted the beta carbon atom the carbon to which the oh group is attached that is called as alpha carbon atom and the next carbon is the beta carbon atom so in this two beta and all the two beta carbon atoms are there the right side beta carbon atom contain the two hydrogen atom and left side beta carbon atom contain three hydrogen atom so according to the sed save rule to get the major product you have to remove the hydrogen from that beta carbon atom which contain the less number of hydrogen atom hydrogen atom so in this case the right side carbon atom which contain the less number of hydrogen atom that is a two carbon atom compared to the left side carbon atom so hydrogen should be removed from the right side carbon atom 
to get your major product that is the 2 butene so when unsymmetrical alcohol are there you have to follow the sedgev rule and you have to remove the hydrogen from what the carbon atom which contain the less number of hydrogen atoms so here the 2 butene is the major product next example that is what the 2 methyl 2 butanol again when treated with the concentrated sulfuric acid here again the 2 beta hydrogen atoms are there right side contain 2 hydrogen atom left side carbon contain 3 hydrogen atoms so again this according to sedgev rule you have to remove the carbon from that carbon atom which contain the less number of hydrogen atom that means you have to remove the hydrogen from the left side carbon atom to get the major product okay that is what the 2 methyl 2 butene next the second method to generate or to form the alkene that is the dehydrohalogenation of alkyl halide dehydrohalogenation means what d means loss hydro means hydrogen and halogenation means halogen so you have to remove hydrogen and halogen from the alkyl halide to get alkene as the your major product okay so for example suppose propyl bromide is there i have given the example of propyl bromide when treated with the alcoholic solution of koh koh means potassium hydroxide noh means sodium hydroxide so when you treat this alkyl halide with the alcoholic solution of potassium hydroxide sodium hydroxide you get what the loss of hydrogen and halogen takes place and you get alkene as the product in this case propyl in this case ethyl bromide is a example so ethyl bromide where the loss of hydrogen and halogen you get what ethene as the product dear student here the carbon atom to which the bromine is attached is called as alpha carbon atom and next carbon atom is the beta carbon atom so you have to remove the hydrogen from beta carbon atom and halogen from the alpha carbon atom so hydrogen and bromine that is halogen is removed so it is a dehydrohalogenation reaction and you get what alkene that is the ethene as the product so <coughs> for example here the 2 bromopropane is there which is treated with the alcoholic solution of koh and you get what that is the propene as the product so here again the dehydrohalogenation taking place there hydrogen is lost from the beta carbon atom and halogen is lost from the alpha carbon atom and you get what that is a propene or propylene as the uh, your product okay next one is the 2 bromopropane is given there here the two beta carbon atoms are again present there one beta carbon atom contain two carbon hydrogen atom another beta carbon atom contain three hydrogen atoms so here also you have to remember the sedgev rule according to the sedgev rule the hydrogen should be eliminated from that carbon atom which contain less number of hydrogen atom so here the right side carbon atom contain two hydrogen atom left side carbon atom contain three hydrogen atom so hydrogen should be eliminated from the right side carbon atom to get the major product so here uh, your two bromopropane reacts with alcoholic solution of koh and two butene should be your major product along with the one butene obtain as the minor product so again i have written there this should be followed by the sedgev rule and next one example i have given that the two methyl two bromo butane again when it is treated with the alcoholic solution of koh or nh that gives you what the major product two methyl two butene the next uh, compound from which you can obtain the alkene is the vicinal dihalides vicinal dihalides means what the these are the dihalides where the two halogen atoms are attached to the adjacent carbon atoms so for example here the ethylene dibromide is there when it is treated with the zinc in presence of alcohol it gives what that is the ethene as the product you can also obtain the alkynes from vicinal dihalides when vicinal dihalides treated with the alcoholic solution of koh means potassium hydroxide or noh it gives what that is the first it gives what bromoethane and that bromoethane then treated with the sodium azide and when it is treated with the soda sodium azide it gives what that is the alkyne as the product also i have given these are the example one to di bromoethane provides you ethene as ethene as your uh, product okay so these are the examples from which you can generate the alkynes also so dear student today we will stop here in this lecture we learn 
the different methods of formation of alkene and alkynes thank you